Welcome to another message about a most important subject. Almost 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ, under the inspiration of God the Father, prophesied that the very last generation of mankind would be so evil and wicked that it would be willing to even destroy all flesh in a worldwide war. At that time of impending cosmocide, the love of many, even in God's church, will grow cold. There is a reason for such indifference, and God tells us in the same verse what the reason is, because lawlessness will abound. At that very time, it will be as if people were to say, the law is no more. Instead, they will have been misled by the mystery of lawlessness. This mysterious concept was already at work in the days of the Apostle Paul, but it grew worse and worse over the centuries. Just prior to the return of Jesus Christ, a religious personality referred to as the lawless one will appear. The overwhelming majority, not having received the love of the truth, will accept, support and even worship that man, thinking that he is God. Those are the first two paragraphs in a free booklet entitled, And Lawlessness Will Abound. The fourth paragraph is short but very much to the point. It reads, Most professing Christians do not believe that the Ten Commandments are still in force and effect, so they don't see a need to keep them, neither in the letter nor in spirit and truth. How true this is, I recall a well-known entertainer quite some years ago saying that he had been told that he could give his heart to the Lord, and he didn't have to change anything. How he was misled. Modern Christianity comes up with a lot of theological sleight of hand and body swerving to try and prove that those called to the Christian way of life don't have to keep the commandments of God, or if they do, they keep them spiritually. And so many fall for these deceptive arguments. This free 64-page booklet will clearly answer most, if not all, of the arguments that ill-deceived theologians and ministers put forth as undeniable and undisputable fact that Christians today don't have to keep the law of God. How blind so many are! On pages 6 and 7 of this booklet, we read that the Ten Commandments have been in force and effect since the creation of man. It states, The Bible consistently teaches that people transgressed the Ten Commandments long before the law, in inverted commas, mentioned in Galatians 3, came into existence. We read in 1 Timothy 2.14 that Adam was not deceived, but the woman, being deceived, fell into transgression. Eve sinned when she violated God's law. This means that God's law of the Ten Commandments was already in effect long before Abraham or Moses because Paul tells us in Romans 4 verse 15 where there is no law there is no transgression. And remember if we sin we are convicted by the law as transgressors. Adam and Eve transgressed the law of the Ten Commandments when they took of the forbidden fruit. They sinned by disobeying God, by stealing from Him, and by lying to Him about it. They also committed idolatry by following Satan, desiring to have something that was not theirs. Later Cain sinned by murdering his brother Abel. The men of Sodom were sinful against God in violating His commandments and principles pertaining to marriage. God prevented two pagan rulers, both referred to as Abimelech, from sinning against him by having an adulterous relationship with Abraham's and Isaac's wives. Later, Joseph refused to commit adultery with Potiphar's wife, knowing that this would be a sin. Jacob sinned by deceiving or lying to his father Isaac. Jacob knew that stealing was sinful. Joseph later explained that kidnapping a person was stealing and therefore sinful. His brothers understood too that stealing was sinful. This free booklet has so much more to say on this subject, and you can read this online. 
just go to www.globalchurchofgod.co.uk then go to literature and then click on the booklet and lawlessness will abound. However, if you don't have such access then you can write in for a free copy which we will happily send to you on request. Just email your name and full postal address to our new email address which is globalcog at eternalgod.org Thank you.